Even if you're not a Suns fan, you may have seen this video all over social media, a Suns super fan getting into kind of a squabble with a Denver Nuggets fan. At the end of the video, he holds up four fingers and yells Suns and four, correctly predicting the outcome of the series. Today, the Suns win means it's their eighth straight win in the playoffs, and it keeps the chances for another Suns four sweep alive. Elliot Polikoff is live in the newsroom with more on the man who made that phrase and that photo go viral. I mean, he has collectible dolls, T-shirts, just about everything. Elliot. Yeah, Whitney, the Suns, they've already broken out the brooms once this playoffs <laughs> against Denver. Nick McKellar predicted that Nuggets sweep while he was taking care of business against a Denver Nuggets fan who poured beer on him. Now, the Suns fan living in Colorado, he was back in the Valley, ready to share what his life has been like since that crazy moment. Let the record state that Nick McKellar does not advocate using fists to solve problems. I mean, it sucks that it happened in the way it did because I don't condone violence. But there's nothing like video evidence to know that Nick didn't start this fight. He just finished it. I'm glad that the people saw me doing the right thing and defending myself in a proper manner. And so to carry this four in, uh, you know, Suns and Four energy with me throughout the playoffs is just something else. It's unreal. Ahead of Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals, Nick feeling the love from Suns fans back in the Valley, and also Suns star Devin Booker. To have him as my, you know, my backup in a, in a certain sense has just been unreal, and I'm glad he reached out to me, and it's been, uh, you know, a, a dream, and I hope to meet him one day. In the meantime, of course you know Nick had a prediction for how this Suns Clippers series would shake out. I think Clippers are, are a solid team, and I think they're going to take uh, at least two from us, so I'm going to say Suns in six. But that was before the game started. After the game, Nick still very popular, by the way, realized his original claim to fame was the way to go. Suns in four! Suns in four! To double down on that, Nick and his crew handing out free t-shirts of him raising those four fingers to Suns fans across the valley and beyond. So the love and support that I actually received from all my fan base on social media has been unreal. So the proceeds that I received from these merch deals, I'm trying to give back to my fan base. So I created a little, like, you know, GoFundMe type deal where I bought all these shirts and I'm now handing them out for free. Just want them to like know that, like, listen, I love your support and appreciate you guys. I was in Phoenix Suns Arena this afternoon and I can definitely confirm that everywhere Nick went, there was a big line for selfies. And of course, that continued outside the arena as well. He might be literally the most famous person in Arizona right now. And he was also joined at the game by another viral sensation. I don't know if you remember that kid Blake who took his shirt <laughs> off on the Jumbotron. Well, he did that again. It's all part of that Suns of Four energy. Oh, Whitney, yes. I, I saw that so much on Twitter. <laughs> uh, that was hilarious. But it's really been so fun watching this team win and watching people in the Valley get so excited it's just been a thrill to watch and you're so lucky we're also lucky to be a small part of that yeah, all absolutely. right thank you so much Elliot